Let me briefly take you through the events on Sunday. <laughs> After Mark called to tell me he was stepping down, I immediately reached out to President Frank and to David Epstein, Chair of our Athletics Committee, and relayed Mark's decision. As I gathered my thoughts on who would be best to move our program forward, Manny Diaz was at the top of my list. I texted Manny to see if he was in Miami. Ironically, he was using the time to interview potential coaches for his staff at Temple. I then called and informed Manny of Mark's decision and asked if he'd like to be considered for the job. We agreed to meet Sunday afternoon and spent some time discussing the state of the program, his plans for how to get us back on track, and our plan for the ensuing hours. We agreed to meet again that evening. After consultation with key members of the Miami family, including President Frank, we later offered Manny the job and were quickly able to come to agreement on a contract. As coaches, we pride ourselves on being able to make quick adjustments. Okay, so there were some quick adjustments happening on Sunday, and uh, a lot of people who woke up on Sunday morning thinking that this was a, an easy day, you know, it, it's, it's right before New Year's, kind of a, you know, what, what could possibly happen today? When I woke up Sunday morning, um, as Blake mentioned, I was putting together a staff to lead Temple to a championship. So we took the Temple job full speed ahead to make Temple as great as Temple could be. The, for, for, what to ha for what happened on Sunday, there was a series of events, so many things that all had to happen in proper sequence. If any of those things would have been out of order, right now I'd be the head coach at Temple. Um, there's simply no script for what took place on Sunday. So that said, I do want to apologize, especially to the players at Temple. I apologize for not being to be with you and be able to execute the vision that I laid out for our chance for success. However, in the short time that I was there and just being around the guys and understanding the culture in that locker room and the talent in that locker room, I have every confidence that that team understands that they're built to win.